All right, warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, we're going to do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds, five Mississippis, just to get you realigned, to understand God's got you, but the devil wants you back. Some of you were his star players, his number one recruiter. And now you stand to destroy his program. Five seconds is going to get you to a point where you understand that if you're not being provoked, you should worry. Because now you're doing the devil's bidding. Warriors, five seconds is going to get you out of this victim mentality. Stop saying, my narcissist. Stop looking as if God did this to you. When you know good and well, the red flags were there. Oh, and the fucking warnings that you ignored. But it was too late. See, in your head, you done committed. You're already there. Well, shit. My pants are down. Lie to yourself long enough to believe all of a sudden. Poor me. No. You see, the authority you have over narcissists is when you realize and you catch yourself and you understand that you're going to give gratitude to what you got, where you came from, and how you got there. Every scar you bear has a story to tell. And you're going to understand that it was always a choice you made. Oh, I ain't walking around with a halo now. The only reason I'm able to fucking talk to you about it is because I did it. Oh, not once. The devil had twins. I married both his daughters. Yeah. You can't make this shit up. And then I was raised in an insane asylum, like many of you. Trying to figure out heads, heads or tails, what the hell? Was I adopted? Warriors, let's do a breathing exercise. We're going to breathe in deep, hold it, release together. And then I want you to join me. We're going to share some golden nuggets. Things to pay attention to. And why it's important for us to not allow the narcissist to hoover, to return. You control the hoover, actually. <gasps> wow. Bars. <laughs> Let's do this. Five seconds. I see you peeking. Really slowly. Uh-huh. Caught your ass. You wrong for that. Look, it's for your own good. Because I need you to remember to do that when you're being provoked by dumbass, by narcissists. And then I need you to understand that once you're able to realize these patterns of behavior, that you're going to be able to see beyond the veil and figure out who the sociopath or psychopath that's manipulating the narcissist. See, because the narcissists you're dealing with are low IQ. They're the bottom feeders. You need to figure out who's pulling their strings, who's got their finger up their ass to get them to do what they do. Because you know good and well, if you think about it, you know good and well in your heart of hearts, these fools couldn't think for themselves. They done had pillow talk with a con. They're being directed. <laughs> and this is why narcissists end up flat on their asses. Because they don't know how to create, they only know how to take. And when they run into enough lovers on these streets, they get taken for a ride. They get sold the lie. The lie that they sold you, they fall for it, hood like, and sinker, y'all. But it mortifies them to no end. Because all of what they had to invest in risk and running from and the shame to get what they got taken, 
Oh, that's a mortification sound like no other. And this is why they're going to hoover. A narc has the audacity to return to you after they try to destroy your reputation, probably tried taking your life, tried to poison you, put drugs in your food, poison in your food, your drink, had all your children side against you, your family. And keeping in mind, too, that part of your learning curve is understanding that when they were able to do this, that you understood that these were people that were never on your side. They were just waiting for a moment of any kind of excuse to side against you. That's why they were never there for you. And many watched, said nothing at all. They knew the truth. They know you're innocent. Warriors, after narcissists do all this and possibly even stage some accidents, they want you to have understanding in their time of need because they got the asses handed to them. They met their match and they meet their match many times. And what I want you to understand in their desperation is ain't nobody fall in love quicker than a narcissist. Oh, they, look, they're going to promise everything. The carnival is open. You feel me? And the thing is, you never negotiate with a narcissist. Oh, let, let me put some details to that for you in the nosebleed section so you understand what I mean. When you blow the bridge up, you, you're not even available to be heard of or reach. But if you happen to be reached, you throw them a fucking brick. You hang up, you change your number again. That's your response. They're expecting you to react either positively or negatively, but a reaction is all they're seeking at this moment. That's the recon, because at least they know they can still trigger you. They still live and have free real estate in your mind. So what I'm saying is, when, you, when I say never negotiate with a narcissist, it's never negotiate with a social terrorist. That's what the narcissists are, and they're worldwide. These little creatures got their hands in everything. And they've had their 15 minutes of fame, their glory moment. And as we speak, in five, four, three, two, one, they're being dethroned every minute of the day. One falls, one by one, by their own hand, so that you understand there was no intervention, it was divine intervention. That's a divine bitch slap. You weren't supposed to be in the way. You ain't even supposed to witness it because your weak asses would try and enable them. And it's why it's important for you to fucking isolate. I'll shut up. Bullshit. I, I wouldn't. I, 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 I. Drink your fucking coffee. T just sit back and listen. Because uh, you speak what you don't know. That's a lot of these dumbasses out here acting like they can play these combat games. And you put them on the fucking front line to piss them in the pants and got buck fever. Froze fucking solid. I've seen many of them just bail at boot camp crying for their mamas. Talking about, uh, I would, I would, I would. No. It's why you woke up when you did and you, it could have got worse. And look, fail this Hoover and see what happens. So you done stirred up a hornet's nest. They're going to play nice. They're going to play, oh, like, look, they're going to give it all to you. Because that's what desperate narcissists do. 
until they had enough because now they got to prove something to you. That's the grudge they hold. And look, have you have y'all noticed how social media feeds into this greed, this enabled uh, greed? I've been noticing on the Talk Talk and the Shorts on uh, YouTube, and and I don't know about uh, X because I don't I don't subscribe to any of those anyway. But I've noticed a, a, a trend where they're advertising people to call this number and you can get $1,600 of money you deserve <coughs> so long as you ain't on Medicaid now and uh, you need to sign up uh, because they're using all these wars and killings and people from around the world losing their life as a distraction to keep you from this allowance that you're entitled to. Sound like a scam to you? wonder if they're gathering up data to see who the lazy folk are in our society. The social credit score. The data farming. I ain't fall for it. But I just... Things that make you go, hmm. You know, I want to thank David uh, for getting me the cup and the squid bait. I got the squid bait. Oh, you know Chico going crabbing now. Let's check it out. Oh, I... A gallon, yo. You know how much mango juice I can hold in that? Oh, nice. Dude, thanks, David. And that squid bait, we crab it. Oh, that's, that's happening. In fact, I'll hopefully be able to do a video of that soon. Let's go over drunk, stone, or stupid narcissist, or possibly a redneck. You think I'm lying? Look, just a set of cards, 500. Non-repeated red flags, it just so happens. I make this look so easy, don't I? Because I'm a professional shuffle. Shuffleer. Shuffler. Shuffle. Making it sound more fancy wrist this. Alright, y'all. Could easily run a marathon right now. I'll add to that, because in the military, we would run for PT, and you wouldn't believe how many of us would stop in the middle of the run, because it was time, we knew the time to beat, and we'd stop for a smoke break, and then pick up, take off again. There's always the little spoon. La cuchara pequeña. Will throw themselves an incredibly elaborate birthday party and the whole time be like, oh my god, guys, stop it, stop. You shouldn't have. Won't stop talking about their trip abroad. A trip abroad or trip on abroad? Either way, do you have a phone charger? Always leaves home without it. It's next to their wallet. Gets convinced strangers are celebrities. Will forget you exist. Make sure their friends get more fucked up than they do. <laughs> Being Facebook friends is just too much commitment. You're pushing the envelope. Is a fucking pushover. Come on, take a drink. Come on, come on. Hate a quitter. Hate a quitter. Damn Neanderthals. Would look super cute as a French maid. Pretty privilege. Pure privilege. Can't math. The math ain't mathin'. The math ain't mathin'. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Appreciate this badass walk on the beach. And look, before we get off on the wrong fucking foot, look at me. Mira me. Subscriptions. Support the channel. That's free. And I'm going to tell you this as a golden nugget. The smile test. Narcissists welcome themselves into your space with a smile. Because they're contagious. Don't smile. Control that. 
Now, I'm not saying natural bitch face. I'm talking just focus face, stoic. Big difference. And watch the reactions, because only the narcissist turned back and show the mask. It's the smile test. Your smiles are free. But remember, your hugs and kisses, shit, that creates some damn stalkers. And remember, that Hoover's coming. And if they don't, it's because you exit it properly or you posture defensively properly on the last Hoover. And it hurt. It hurt. Yeah, because a hard head makes for a soft ass. And narcissists are now getting used to getting theirs handed to them back. Only you do it more better bestest. You see, because when you discard, it's forever. <laughs> Can I get a what? What? Uh-uh. Get your, uh, get your hugo, get your coffee, get your tea. Mm -mm, let's do this right. We ain't gonna negotiate with these damn narcissists, damn terrorists. Mm -mm. Let's do this. Do you feel it? <laughs> Happy dance. Happy dance. Get out there and fucking own it. You ain't nobody's bitch. And you're nobody's emotional tampon. Own it. Together? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Together? We'll scream our war cry. Narcissists already feel the pinch. There's a saying, don't worry about the temptatious. Narky narc. As you age, they avoid you. Warriors, it's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Les mando besos y abrazos. Namaste. Oh, and I've been counting days to get away. Yeah.